Hey everybody, uh, Patreon Matrix here, and we have decided what the first uh, series of the channel is going to be. It's going to be RimWorld. It's a game that uh, I've recently uh, been on a kick with. Uh, not nearly as on a kick as some people. Some people have thousands of hours in this game, um, and I do not. But uh, nonetheless, I love this game. I've been loving it, and I've decided that, hey, look... Uh, since I'm already playing this game and I'm enjoying it, why not make it uh, the first series on the channel? Now, I had a colony on here that I was doing decently well with, but um, I decided that it would be best to completely uh, start over, completely uh, go new. And, uh, yeah, we'll start the series out with this. Now, I'm going to play on a very, like, medium difficulty because, like I said, I'm pretty mediocre at games. So, um... We're going to do the adventure story, reload any time, classic, uh, Cassandra classic, she's normal. Ah, devil seed, yep, that's very good. Uh, we're going to keep the civilizations and factions all the same, everything uh, on its base. Now, I am only playing the core game, as you can see here. Um, I actually haven't discovered enough of the core game um, to truly understand how to do a lot of the things. Um... And if you don't know what RimWorld is, it's a settlement builder that is extremely complex. It was inspired by game games like Dwarf Fortress, which is also unbelievably complex uh, for a settlement builder. Um, but nonetheless, let's uh, get started. So in this screen, uh, I'm selecting um, what I want or where I want to start my settlement. And I'm thinking right here, but granted we have... Silencer pack or the slicer pack, excuse me, not silencer. Um, over here is a little safer with uh, actually, they're also hostile. The Ergo League, what's about this up here? Give me the terrain panel. Um, we're looking pretty decent up here. Um, oh, it gets really cold though. Mm, I'm not sure I want that. Are these hostile? Yep, of course they are. Maybe... Maybe we go somewhere in here. This is tropical. Maybe not. Maybe we go, like, right here. Is that a road? It's a dirt path. I would like more of the river. Maybe in difficulty, yeah, 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 36 to 87, yeah, 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 yeah. I think this is where we're going to start. It's right here. Uh, we're close to the Confederacy of Inan, uh, the Ergo League, and we are still close to a ton of the Slicer Pack, uh, these four. But, nonetheless, um, I think that this is a good uh, spot to start. Right here, got good movement, got good all year temperatures. Um, forward ability is good, rainfall is good. Um, good growing period. Okay, and it's a flat terrain, so this is good. We're gonna go now. Here comes the interesting part: um, getting the people that I want. Now, ooh, I think that four eyes is definitely going in the squad. Very smart. Uh, be really good to uh, do some researching. Really good constructor and a good uh, shooter. So that's a pretty good. Uh, three things that we like. Husband's Evo Valentine, which is this guy. He's social, plants, animals. Uh, not a great cook. Really good cook. Really good medical. Uh, you also have really good medical. A torturer. I don't know. I really want four eyes because the three skills that are really good shooting, construction, and intellectual. This allows us to research, this allows us to build. Um, it's also a shooter, but it's not. It's kind of repetitive almost. This is melee and mining. I think we get wa in here. Diana wa. And then, really want to cook, so let's uh, randomize a little bit here. Ooh, it's a good miner. 
good animal. Handler. It's a good miner. Constructor. Ooh, I like Sky. Sky is good. Let's get a uh, Valentine out of here. So we have a shooter who can construct things and is smart. We have a kind of all around, uh, mainly miner and hopefully cooking will get this up. And also construction is really good to have uh, two of those, especially in the early game. And another constructor slash miner. So are we got anybody that's got medical? Okay, maybe we don't go with this. I do like Sky though. I think I like Sky more than I like Wall. Um, <laughs> addicted to everything. Are y'all addicted to anything? No, you just have some scars. Okay, cool. This is always the longest part uh, deciding who exactly you want to be a part of your squad. Who are we ousting? I think we're going to oust... Um, Wall. Yeah, we're out of the wall. Wall's getting got. Cooking plants, crafting artistic. Okay, Miss Elliot. Believe that you are. Ah. Uh, but you are. So annoying. Hmm, let's see if we can find somebody to replace Elliot. I may just cut until I find my people. That's definitely what I'm going to do. Okay, so I have uh, found uh, my people. Of course, we have four eyes, the shooter, the constructor, and the intellectual. Um, we have Sky, who is a miner, uh, has a slight passion for cooking, so we can get that built up pretty quickly. Might have some <laughs> food poisoning uh, in the mix, but that's okay. And then we have the main miner, a good medical person and uh, another intellectual so uh, this is our squad we have a whole female squad we have four eyes sky and McBride so let's get into it <clears throat> love this game the three of you awake in your crypto sleep scar scar off a guy, yeah, that's the word. Out of the sound of sirens and ripping metal, you barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown room where all those piece, uh, pieces of the shredded starship fall around you. You may start making plans to survive. So, if you've never played uh, Rim World, uh, you have basically this is your map that tile that we selected uh, here on this map. That tile is uh, this um, that we're currently on. So the world is made up of tons of these little tiles uh, that expands quite uh, largely. So here we have um, a lot of our things. I don't remember. I already have forgotten who my shooter is. Okay, Four Eyes, you are the main lady main shooter anyway okay so four eyes you take that are you a shooter at all nope sky you are a melee lady mcbride you're just gonna have to learn how to do all this so um here we have an ancient evil that we can take care of um if i send somebody next to this um it'll pop up a big alert that says hey don't don't go there um, there are bad things in there so we're probably going to um, keep our base away from that area it seems pretty smart to do that but the question is where are we gonna put our base I think that I'm actually gonna start our base here I think I like this area right here because it's got 
two fertile spots that's what this darker area is if you click this button right here um, you can see the fertility of the area um, and it grows I think at 140 percent compared to the uh, regular 100 percent so what I'm gonna do uh, is while the game is still paused I'm going to set up a stockpile I'm gonna make a spot to where all our people can drop all this stuff make it there and then I'm gonna allow everything to be taken there and there's wood too. Okay. and there's probably other things that I'm missing I always do it uh, like two weeks later in game I'll look around the map and I'll find stuff with the big red X's and it's like oh crap um, that's annoying so what do we got here we got any predators we have a timber wolf predator where is the timber wolf exactly where I want to be so um, he is going to have to or she excuse me is going to be have to be dealt with uh, relatively soon um, but hopefully it steers clear and doesn't get uh, super angry that is the hope okay so uh, we'll go ahead and get it started hopefully the timber wolf doesn't act like anything yes we need colonist beds and they will need warm temperatures uh, warm temperatures yeah then you won't close eventually so let's go ahead and get a barracks set up um, just a building that is enough space for the three of them to sleep so I think we're gonna go something like uh, this here this should be, I mean, not plenty of space, but enough space for the time being to satisfy our people's desires and needs. So, boom, boom, boom. And, yeah, that looks like that will work. And then we will add this to be roofed as well. Now build a roof over an oak tree. I know, cut it down. <clears throat> So the first few days, um, we are uh, just trying uh, to get um, the base set up, trying to get things done, and uh, I will uh, soon be planning out a lot of the area, because there's a lot of stuff that you need to do initially um, to get all this stuff into storage, um, because you can see stuff deteriorates as it stays out. Um, so. As this gets built and this compound grows and grows and grows and grows, uh, hopefully uh, we will have or be in a position in which is uh, good. So I think I'm actually going to make the initial farm. Uh, yeah, I'm going to make the initial farm not in the more fertile areas, um, but I'm going to make it in kind of the, I guess you would say the, the base type of space um, because I don't want that timber wolf getting us and it's relatively between us and it and I just don't want the risk of that being run at the moment and then we're gonna grow a rice plant okay so four eyes is doing all the construction uh, they are hauling things which is good everybody's attitude you can see this box behind them um, the higher the light blue is, the better attitude they have. Their mood is, is it called. <clears throat> Need colonist beds. Yes, working on it. You're harvesting the oak tree. You're taking forever to cut this tree down. Did I uh, not get a good uh, chopper? Uh, I don't know which one um, which one uh, tree chopping comes from but nonetheless so I'm going to uh, uh, cut until we get all of this done or something uh, stupid happens okay nothing interesting uh, has happened and it actually hasn't been a ton of time but um, I didn't want uh, you guys to be confused um, whenever I 
came back and then all of a sudden that all this stuff's going on so I'm actually gonna put the uh, recreational horseshoes uh, here I actually have created their schedule they work 10 hours a day six of their hours are free and then they have eight hours of sleep um, that is the goal I don't want to work them too hard that's uh, where they get uh, grumpy and sleepy and their mood just drops drastically but also I don't want them to work so little that nothing actually gets done because um, it may seem like 10 hours is a lot uh, for a game um, but it's not why are you unhappily nude yeah. huh okay whatever she's fine now uh, because she put clothes on cool um sky okay she's hauling and then four eyes is constructing granted not very much construction is going on so i like the manual priorities and i actually do want you to be a part of this construction So, uh, now we have uh, both of the constructors on construction. Um, Horizon is significantly better, but uh, Sky still has a passion for it and will learn it at an increased rate. Um, we're going to increase the priority of McBride's doctor ability to max so that uh, she will do it um, immediately. <clears throat> Uh, if it's needed Actually, we'll leave it at three because the way that this this screen right here works is as you see these are a higher priority um, so at, If all of these are threes uh, They will do this three first then this then this then this then this so it looks for all the threes And it goes from left to right so if there's a two it'll do all the twos first meaning that she could be bleeding and nearly dying uh, and still trying to heal somebody else uh, before she actually gets healed herself. And that's not what we want. Uh, we want her to be healed if uh, it's needed. Um, we're going to leave everything. Um, we're actually going to do no drugs because in this game, drug addiction is lethal um, a lot of the time. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's lethal to actually not do it, depending on the people that you get. But nonetheless labyrinth our puppy doggy cute make sure she gets a sleeping spot there it is booyah so now sky is actually helping and you probably hear a lot of creaking in the background my chair is terrible my apologies for that but the next big plans uh, that I want to do and I'm actually going to uh, do now is plan out our um, kind of feeding hall or uh, cafeteria of sorts I suppose and I think that I'm gonna have it go over here so I think I want it like this uh, a little longer than or wider than that let's go like that and then we're gonna have a uh, and then we're gonna have a uh, freezer area so this will be like the meeting hall the cafeteria where they can eat kitchen and then freezer uh, for foods and whatnot and then we will eventually build the actual bedrooms along this wall we'll probably clear maybe this entire thing um, just so we can get this space for maybe a storage hall of sorts um, to put the actual stockpile in because having a stockpile indoors is significantly better than having it outdoors they're almost done I think um, that we'll be able to get this done before uh, the first day so we're, we're gonna speed things up a little bit I mean bride can be planting sky and four eyes can get things done in here everybody has a bed it's unknown but by the time they go to sleep they'll actually get it done which is good they'll finish hauling it sky is going to finish doing that right doing that and we're not actually going to start on this um until uh, everything all the other jobs are completed so this one's completely done i'm going to wait for this one to get done i'm going to wait for everything to get hauled here and then i actually probably should do this 
um, just so we have enough wood. So whoever's a tree chopper is about to chop a lot of trees. Um, and that's the goal. We want this kind of cleared out of trees. And we want a steady supply of wood. So that would be good. Um, let's go ahead and um, plan out the houses. And I think that I'm going to have them... See, I don't know where the Timberwolf's at. It's around here somewhere. I'll look at it if I need to, or look for it if I need to, but it does not seem like it's an issue at the moment. Um, but I think I want the houses down in here, and almost have like a... Hmm. Actually, I may have them here. The first, like the initial three. I'm definitely going to clear this out. So. I don't know what I was doing there. Need one close. The outdoor temperature is going to reach. Yes, I know. I am aware that it's going to reach uh, that at that point. Because it's spring right now. It's a little cold. It may be cold. I'm not sure. Um, but we don't have what we need to do right now. So that's going to be chopped down. That's just going to signify to me that that needs to be chopped in one four so 19 is that the correct math? I don't think that it is um, word up it is so this is going to be our uh, people's houses. The first uh, three. The, whenever the time comes, I'm going to change this maybe into a crafting area or station or whatnot. <clears throat> but it's always good to plan ahead, um, especially whenever you know that you're going to go uh, a good distance into uh, the game, especially with... Uh, traveling to other areas and getting deep into the technological advances because <clears throat> the research tree it goes like far and you can get a lot of the uh, this is the end game stuff I believe is getting the uh, stuff to fix the uh, starship which we'll see um, in a little while uh, it'll be a while but We'll see in a little while, um, but you can go pretty far um, technologically, so uh, hopefully uh, we can plan out exactly what we need to do to get to that point. What is everybody doing? You are wandering. Is it wandering time? It is not wandering time. Okay, so they don't have a job. That is why they are wandering. So, <clears throat> the worst part of this game is this crap. I hate the chunks. Um, I despise them. I don't want them anywhere near my base. So, what I'm going to do is get them out of my base. That is the plan. So, you get these dumping stockpile zones. And we'll make it this corner. And I don't want corpses to be here. So, all the chunks, but no corpses. And then I'm going to make another one for corpses because eventually we will kill people. And uh, our people are not going to want to see those dead bodies. So, I'm trying to think of a good spot. I'm thinking back here um, for the dead bodies because this is steel and we will eventually need to mine it. Uh, but that's not going to be for a while. So, we're going to make this not chunks. And not animal corpses, but human-like and mechanoid, because animal corpses will be uh, used for us uh, later. And then we're going to set all of these chunks to be hauled off. And hopefully they'll get out of our way, and then they now have jobs that they can be doing. Granted, I don't know if they... Yeah, they do. Hey. 
do work. There we go. They're hauling the chunks. Now that's always going to take a while, uh, hauling the chunks all the way up here. Um, but uh, as long as it gets done, McBride put on a ton of clothes. Um, and I guess I could go ahead and start building this. Here now, I want to build this big enough um, to where whenever I get more people, it's still a sustainable. So I don't want to build a building that's fit for three. I want to build a building that's fit for ten. Um, and this is completely uh, big enough for that. So wooden wall. And they're actually going to stop the hauling process. Um, to do this, which is okay. And I think I want another door here. Um, just so we have plenty of options to get in the kitchen, I'll probably put the uh, body storage, the corpse storage of animals here in this area. <laughs> Okay, where's Four Eyes? Where's Sky? Sky's carrying something across the world. Cool. McBride is chopping down our trees that we assigned, uh, like the 100 of them. It was a ton. But, it'll be good. Oh, Four Eyes, look at you go. Yeah, it's 100% growth rate. Uh, in these areas, it's 100, and uh, you see the fertility down there in the corner. I can't move my mouse because I'm hovering over the thing, but bottom left, it says uh, fertility, 104T. That's the growth rate as opposed to the 100%, so we'll nearly um, 1.5 times our growth if we build in those areas. And what I also want to do, what I need to do, is make sure this is roofed. No, you cannot build one. That's why I'm asking you to uh, deal with it. And then I want that to be mined out. I can remove this plan now. And then I want all of that to be deconstructed. And then I want all these floors to be removed. So that's a big undertaking. Uh, McBride, are you a miner? I can't remember. You are. Let's, uh... Let's, uh, emphasize your harvesting right now. That's not a, an immediate thing that needs to take place. That's a thing that happens whenever nobody else has a job. <clears throat> to see the doggy when it comes time so um the early plan is just to set up a simple base of operations that's sustainable uh, for the first winter granted it's only spring of the first year so we still have uh, two seasons before winter other than spring and it's the very beginning of um, spring also so um, we have nearly uh, 45 days until uh, in game days until we hit winter which nothing will grow but we have plenty of hunting that can be done we have uh, lots of uh, animals horses I don't think I'll kill definitely will not be killing boomalopes just because they're scary definitely will be killing the does and uh, bucks and things and turkeys and rats and hares and all of it to get the uh, food we need uh, done. I'm gonna go ahead and set up a uh, research bench just so that we can begin um, getting things done, researching, getting further into the tree. Um, because you do know a few things starting out like electricity and all this other stuff, um, but we still want to learn like Pemison smithing obviously to get the good stuff the good stuff okay see this is what I was talking about 
I always miss things like that that fall from the pod that I don't ever see. And it's just, it's really annoying. And Bride is chopping Sky and Four Eyes are doing. So we're in a bad relationship with the uh, Mabondinium. I don't know how to say that. We're bad with the slicer pack, the Ul Orar Nation, and the Ergo League. Uh, I think that the Pirate Gang always attacks first. So it won't be surprising if we see an attack from the Pirate Gang. Uh, at some point in the near future. Just the 19th hour. <clears throat> so it's kind of a... Uh... Hold on. I heard something scream. Oh. Hopefully. Okay. Let me uh, get everybody ready. I'm currently playing with one hand because, uh, my mic is being held by my other hand because I don't have a mic arm. Uh, I wasn't really prepared for this. So what I want to do is kind of, uh, well, in reality, I don't want Sky in this if she doesn't have to be. Gotta be very careful with this. Okay, I need McBride to move and I need Sky to go kill. Kill Sky, kill. Kill, yes, okay, good. So. Uh, McBride needs a medical treatment. And I didn't want to have to kill it, but I think that he's just going to have to kill the wolf. Oh, don't make that sound. That's so sad. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Okay, good. It's dead. Uh, the timber wolf is now gone. I was just uncomfortable, especially with uh, Labyrinth being here. I didn't want them to uh, get got. So undraft, uh, take care of yourselves. Um, are you bleeding? Yeah, you're bleeding, so you need to be taken care of. Um, you need to stop hauling things. Yeah, you need to rest. And you need, somebody needs to doctor him up. I actually think that's my doctor. Let's see. Okay, you're going to have to do doctor. You have no skills, but you're going to have to do it. Okay, note to self. Do not let McBride get hurt any longer. Prioritize tending to McBride. Okay, so the timber wolf is now dead. And I actually am going to allow animal corpses because I don't have a butcher table yet. And I want it gone. Okay, that was a very um, interesting fight. I'm not very good at the combat in this game. I haven't played it enough. Um, but for McBride to get hurt. I think we're all, all for that to be the only thing that happens. I think we're good. Be good. 
Um, yep, you're patched up. Shouldn't be in any more danger of dying. Um, a terrible quality. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's what happens whenever your medic is the one getting beat up on. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Uh, get everybody in bed. Get the day going. Get McBride healed up, hopefully. Um, but I am no longer fearful of going down in this area. Um, I wasn't really scared of it in the first place, but I heard that rat die. And I knew that it was game over. Or I knew it was time to uh, take care of it because it was in our spot. Yes, uh, it actually makes a good point. Need defenses. Um, so if you haven't played this game, uh, randomly, um, people of other uh, tribes will come to attack you if they are hostile with you, and it is usually the pirate tribe. Um, and so I want to make a brief set of defenses um, that kind of gears us for any direction of attack. So hopefully that's good for now. And I genuinely actually don't think that we need these corner bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. <clears throat> Are you still resting? Yep, yeah, you're still down and out. You're almost good. You're good. Now you can get up and work. It's an anything time right now. It's fine. Okay, McBride is back to work um i want you to prioritize getting rid of that because it will start to rot and infect our people it is only the third yes okay so it pauses the game for me um because it isn't an ancient danger we are not going to break that open um if i broke this open right now uh we as a colony of people would 100% die be, immediately be wiped out we do not have the uh, capability of taking out the things that are in here and if you don't know what's in there you'll be surprised if you know what's in there you know why I'm not gonna open that <clears throat> oh me I'm gonna speed up time. I probably have, should be uh, speeding up time more. Visitor, cool. Who is it? Uh, from the Vibar Union. I think that we're good with them. Yep, uh, they're a neutral tribe. They're a gentle tribe. Uh, and he's coming down from here. Cool. Speed it up. We'll do some trading. Uh, we do have some silver and things that we can use to trade. And uh, that'll be good if we have anything that we need. Um, I really want a caravan to come so I can get a shotgun. Shotguns are nice uh, for taking care of threats that are uh, nearby. Where are you going? What do you have? You have like a spade. Okay. Sky, go. Do none of you talk. I would like to trade with him if it's possible. I mean, I don't. Yeah, maybe I can't trade with him. I can't remember. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Need meal source. Yes, I know we need a meal source. I don't remember how much food we have. We have 30 food. Uh, that is what we are building here. If uh, people would hurry up and build it. Need to get the food source up and running and actually um, need to get the torch lamps in here to get this place started to be lit up. There we go. And then we'll get some torch lamps in here. And then we'll get some torch lamps in here. See a sparrow. He's leaving. Okay, cool. 
Um, we're getting things done now. Speed it up halfway. Yes, we do need to get a really, uh, the biggest thing that we need to be doing is getting a, um, a food thing ready. That's all the doors. <clears throat> Hopefully, this will get done soon. Tired of waiting. Tired of waiting. It's really annoying. Speed it up. I wouldn't be surprised if we get attacked tonight or tomorrow, even today. Um, there, there could be a really a real possibility of us getting attacked by a singular individual. I don't know why I did this. I no, I don't deconstruct that, but I do want that flooring to go in there. There's a mad squirrel. Oz, we're gonna have to kill it. As silly as it may sound. Okay, good. You guys won. And I need you to go take care of her if she needs it. Is she bleeding? Imagine getting beat up by a squirrel. What a loser. Go. And I like doing the paved tile in the kitchens and stuff. Uh, simply because it looks... Nicer. Orphan. Sky is fully healed. Need a meal source. Yes, I am aware. But I need this stuff to get done. Is anybody on clean duty? Nobody. Oh, it doesn't require skill. Yes, I'm using uh, steel um, for this seemingly... Um, stupid flooring, but I like the aesthetics. Like I said, I like to have fun. Uh, I don't want to min-max uh, the flooring and everything, and also it just seems um, better. Why are you up at 2 a.m. building? Excuse to me? Excuse me? You're just falling asleep? Ah, uh, it's because you took a nap today. That's why. And you're going to be extra tired uh, tomorrow. That's going to be annoying. But, that's okay. <clears throat> Stop botching constructions. Me oh my. Really hope we get a migrant soon. Or, the ability to get another person. Because, um, three is rough. Dwarf Fortress, not to compare the games, although they are relatively similar. Um, set in different times of society, but relatively similar um, they are so different because Dwarf Fortress starts with seven dwarves um, granted there's probably a lot more that you have to do initially in Dwarf Fortress okay pause this is our this is our uh, kitchen canteen area um, so what I'm gonna do, uh, shelves are actually really nice, and I'm gonna, 
Bunk. Yep, there we go. Oh yeah. Okay. So, um, shelves. Each shelf can store three things, as opposed to a towel on the ground can only store uh, one. So this basically triples the storage of uh, these four, these three, and then these four tiles, which is good. This is our food uh, storage. So that's good. Hopefully we can get those done. And then in terms of production, we need a. Okay, so we need to name our places, and I will be all, uh, always go random. So the under compact, I like compact. That's a good word. Lannis, I like Lannis. Our faction's name is Lannis, and then our area. Our settlement is called J Jamon. Jamon. I love being part of Lannis and living in Jamon. It's a beautiful thing. But as I was saying, I need to uh, place some things. This is a fuel stove, right? Blight. Oh no. That's awful. That is... Oh, that is just so bad. Okay. Cut all blight. <laughs> that sucks. Blight is... Awful. Especially when it starts out that big. It's almost... Impossible to... Uh, to... Uh, Contain, and I need McBride to get here quickly. And I actually want everyone to do that. And I think the blood's going to spread regardless. Look how much faster McBride is than everybody. Okay, we may have saved some. Okay, I think we saved some. That's good. I don't think it'll... Oh. No. We prioritize cutting. I'm sorry. You don't have a choice in this one. Okay. And now, turn that back off. And put that back on normal. Good. And what was on four? Mining. Ah, it's because I want you to do everything else first. Good. Okay. Uh, we have... Uh, we're getting uh, the food in, which is good. I need to start putting power in here. So I'm actually going to build a little... Um, kind of, I guess, extra space back here. Bills at a bill, cook simple meal, do forever, please. Hold on. So, a carver named Wasp. So, this is actually another person. Uh, if she survives the impact. So capture her for slavery purposes. Is she okay, McBride? Rescue wasp. Not capture. I'll give you a bed in a little while for eyes because I need wasp to be rescued. That is the most important thing that we do. Rescue wasp. 
And then, I don't understand why it converts the things to steel. Um, and then we put another bed in here for, for us. Do we not have enough wood? No, we have some a decent amount of wood. And then, who is our best shooter? Okay, looks like we're gonna have to go on the hunt for some creatures. Who's our cook? Who's the good cook? Good cook, I think Genevieve. Genevieve McBride is our cook. And then once we stabilize our um, food supply, I think that is good for the first episode. But let's get that done. Um, hopefully we can save Wasp. Um, Wasp is a sick name. She dies in 48 hours. Please hurry. She dies in three hours. Go, 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 McBride. Save her. Him. Her. Her. Save her. Please. Please. She's almost dead. If we can stop the bleeding. Okay, five hours. Okay, I think we got her. I think we got her. Death in nine hours. Oh no. I don't want these bodies to be touched now. I'm going to make a new spot let me look at the home zone so the home zone is um kind of the area in which your people can go or your yeah your people can go and i actually want to uh i want to uh Area one. Okay, this is what I want. And then I want to bound our dog to that area so our dog will not leave uh, that area now. Um, but the reason that I did that was so I can make a stockpile zone here. And yeah, we'll make it right here. And the only thing that I want are animal corpses. That is it. But no rodents. So I want, um, whatever. So wasp, are you gonna live? I think you're gonna live. What are you good at? You're a shooter? You're artistic. Good melee. Decent construction. You're a pretty decent person. And I genuinely don't want to give you up. But saving you can be a benefit. What are you crafting from? Berries? You different berries. Oh, I forgot to uh, do this, um, clear all um, food. Copy settings, paste settings. So I don't want anything other than food to be allowed in here. And I also want this to be a stockpile zone that also only allows food, but not rotten food. So no rotten food is allowed in here. 
Okay, so that should be should be good. Wasp should make it out alive uh, from this. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, Warize brings us a. Okay, we have a raid. Um, and they're attacking immediately. What do you have? Okay. There's a raid occurring. Okay, you can feed him in a minute. I need... Where are you going to come from, is my question. Where is he coming from? I need to watch the way that he goes. Is he going up and over? Because if he goes up and over, we will defend from this point. But if he goes down, then we'll defend from that point. He may go around and about. Oh my goodness, where are you going, bro? I think he's going up. Get there quickly, please. Ooh, he's alive. I don't have a prison. And I think that I'm just going to let him bleed out. Because he attacked my nation. And I don't approve of that. Yep. You can just lay there and... Uh, be good. Low food. Yeah, we really need to uh, get food online. That's something that I've neglected too long. Too long. I really need things to be hunted. Did you already kill the things that I told you to kill? Where are their bodies? No. I thought I told you not to put it. Crap. Butcher creature. Do forever. Cool. Are you feeding? Yeah, you're feeding somebody. Okay. I need you to... Yes, tend to sky. And then I need you to butcher that creature so we can start making food. Because this is really bad. Um, the... Uh, the food situation is not great so hopefully we can get that but um what we have here is a location in which we can put a wood fire generator a couple of them if we need to put more than one um but and hopefully he goes get the yep yeah, he's gonna get the ibex though i don't care how tired you get you are finishing that before you go to sleep that is the goal because we have seven foods no longer incapable of walking so you can walk and you're still unconscious and you are gonna die that's what we want that's what we want as terrible as that is okay so we have enough ibex meat for seven meals so we are immediately uh, out of danger um, and I think that whenever they wake up tomorrow, um, that we'll be in a good position for food. Uh, Sky is healing, uh, pretty much fully healed. Uh, there's just a little bit that she has to go, 
We have Wasp, who is still severely injured um, and is uh, waking up, but it's from the Baybar Union. And I think that we're going to return her. And then we have this jerk, uh, Relab Relanbi. Um, he attacked my nation, so I think that I'm just going to let him sit here. And actually, he's about to die, so um, it's a sad day. Um, that's what you get for attacking uh, Lannis. The nation of Lannis. That's what you get. Yep. And we're going to allow them to carry him off into the sunset. But that is it uh, for the first episode of what we will now call the Lannis uh, Nation uh, playthrough. Uh, I appreciate you uh, for watching uh, this video. Uh, this series will continue. We'll keep moving forward with it. I'm super excited to see uh, where it goes. But thank you for uh, tuning in. I'll see you on the flip side.